Welcome to a new daily top ask Reddit video. Today's topic. A new dating app is launched. Instead of a photo of the person, it shows you a photo of their bedroom, car, kitchen, shoes, how they have their tea forward slash coffee, things like that what photo would tell you the most about someone, and would you be most interested to see to choose a potential date. I would like to see their fridge please. You can only see the fridge or the freezer. Which one? Well, no one hides dismembered humans in a fridge, do they? I'm a big clean bedroom person. I know everyone would just tidy their room for their photo but if it was honest it'd be really handy for me. My therapist told me that one of her patients was depressed so he didn't clean his room for months. Anyway, she asked him to see a picture of his room and that made him clean it up because he was too ashamed. Which is a good reason for me to ask people to come over. So I have a reason to tidy up, D. Side note, anyone remember that old MTV showroom Raiders, where the girl forward slash guy would go through like three people's rooms and try to determine who to date based upon their room? This could totally work. Edit. I said it tilde tilde once tilde 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 twice tilde tilde three times in this thread and I'll say it again. Who fucking cares that it was clearly staged forward slash faked? I don't know any of the girls and I don't know any of the guys. I have no involvement in any of their lives, it doesn't matter to me if they're real it was entertaining. I didn't watch Room Raiders as a junior in high school because I thought love was in the air and that somebody would find their forever by sniffing panties. I watched it because it was hilarious. Edit 2, some of you are really mad about my first edit. Guys, this is Ask Reddit. I'm sitting in my pajamas talking about a TV show from 16 years ago. Take a deep breath. I'm not that serious about the show I honestly hadn't thought of it in over a decade until seeing this thread this morning. I was like 11 when I watched that show and didn't realize you had to sign up to raid forward slash be raided. So I would go to bed every night with brushed hair and a very clean room, just in case. That's fucking adorable. They have a baseball bat in here so now I know they're sporty. Time to bring out the black light. Their kitchen sink. For me, their kitchen cupboard. What food do they like, and presumably cook? Are they on a special diet? What brands do they prefer? Do they have decent coffee? Do they stock up on stuff like long life milk and basics like baked beans and tinned tomatoes? My kitchen cupboards are essentially a wide variety of spices and oils and vinegars. My fridge is mostly water and beer and condiments. I meal prep every week and don't keep snacks around because I'll snack all day. Really I'd like to see their coffee collection, recipe list, and kitchen appliances, to make sure we like the same coffees, like to try and collect new recipes, and like to use a wide variety of appliances to try new foods. That would be interesting, but my cupboard has stuff I don't eat. That's why it remains. The last six meals they cooked. One noodles with tomato sauce and sausage. Noodles with tomato sauce and sausage. Noodles with tomato sauce and sausage. Fish. Noodles with potato sauce and sausage. I don't remember. Edit, never expected a stupid list with a funny typo would be my most upvoted comment. Thanks. Potato sauce. Their collections. Do they collect books? Board games. Video games. Sneakers. Cocktail dresses. Makeup. Computer parts. Minerals. Dead insects. Skulls. Empty Doritos bags. Children from different mothers forward slash fathers. Beanie babies. I wanna know. Well. How did you know all the things I collect? Weird. Yeah, but he missed human body parts. Video games. I would prefer not to let a potential date know how much I've spent on Steam. Ah. See I think you are wrong here. Unless you are willing to give up gaming. Then don't try to snow potential mates. Be right up front about it. Anyone that freaks out or makes disparaging comments. Is a hard pass. I don't care how good they are in bed. I can't even tell you how many gaming buddies my husband has lost because they got a girlfriend forward slash wife. If gaming is important to you which your Steam library would lead me to believe then stick with someone who's open to gaming even if you don't play the same types of games. Or that at least has some other sort of solo hobby like reading does she have a 2500 ebook library. Hubby and I been together for over 20 years now. 
His Steam library is extensive. Mine probably only has a dozen things in it. But I have over 1900 hours in one game that I just started playing last May. We don't game together anymore. Because I'm bad and he's an asshole. But we spend a lot of time sitting next to each other on our own systems. It works for us. What if they spent even more than you? To be honest, I just need an audio file of them chewing. Oh number. If this was the case I would have never given my wife a chance. I love her like no other, but she is such a loud chewer. I would never marry my wife if I knew how the room looked. Feels like a scene from Idiar Jones some days instead of snakes cats jump at from under piles of stuff. Same. My wife is the biggest slob. Like, she seriously doesn't know how to put anything back where it goes or put new things in a place. It's just piles of stuff on every horizontal surface. Right now, since we got home from work on Friday, here are the contents of our coffee table, a heated rice bag, a bottle of honey, a tape measure, the Valentine's card I gave her, a chair slip cover still in the package, pet nail clippers, two separate stacks of McDonald's napkins, a guitar tuner, and a Shewi Williams paint swatch. That table was clear on Friday morning. We had already developed something special before I got to, you know, see her place. Just because this was me, you or your wife might be interested in learning about hoarding tendencies and add. I was just a clutterbug for years, then depression knocked me into hoarding, and now I have a really nice and clean house. My brain processes items differently. I had to understand that and try dozens of systems to figure out how I can operate with my stuff. I am so much happier now. I met someone the other day who just brought out a dating app that required a photo to be taken every day at a random time. You only had 15 seconds to take a photo of yourself so you couldn't fake what you look like. He told me sometimes he had to take a picture in a busy metro. Pretty interesting concept. If you missed the photo opportunity you couldn't use the app for the rest of the day. Sounds like prime data mining. Yep, like a combo of location metadata for consumer trends and practice for facial recognition technology. Could you set the window so it occurred while you were awake? Though middle of the night self eyes would be pretty telling. Who's that next to you? Her. Oh that's my mom. I had a bad dream. That's interesting if not a little creepy. If you're paying enough attention you could figure out someone's routine. Ha, huh, drinking again. Their bathroom. I feel like I judge a person on the state of it. I feel uncomfortable if it's in a state of really uncleanliness due to you using it to be clean also if their towels are constantly damp. Edit, changed spelling from there to there. I've always told my friends that when having company over, especially if it's a date, that the first and foremost thing they'll be judged on is the state of the bathroom, s, whichever they use. This is always the first thing I clean if I find out someone is coming over last minute and don't have enough time to tidy everything. Next is the kitchen. It's fine to have a couple dishes in the sink, but all surfaces should be clean forward slash wiped down. After that, I'll feel pretty at ease with someone at my place. Thank you. Had to scroll far too long to find this. I was over at a friend's house during law school. Maybe fancied her a little, but was mostly just helping her move. Got to the bathroom and I was absolutely fucking horrified. Turned off any romantic feelings I had for her immediately. Which, it turns out, was a good thing. I went over to a guy's house after a first date, used his bathroom, and immediately left. I have literally never seen a bathroom in someone's house so gross in my life. The whole house was disgusting, but the bathroom. I almost threw up. Also the fact that he was comfortable bringing a girl back to his house looking like that. He texted me later about why I left and I told him and he argued with me about how it's a okay, because he's a guy. Like it's normal for men to live in absolute filth. I told him no one, regardless of gender should be living that way. And then I never texted him again, because he truly believed it was okay to live in squalor and filth because he is a man. Fuck number. I wouldn't want to see their car, but their vehicle's maintenance history. My last ex had a 2018 Chevy, and killed the engine because she went 60 Kelvin miles without an oil change. It quite but this is hilarious to me. Shouldn't be but it is. Especially when you consider a lot of dealerships include free oil changes for the first year or two at least. A friend's sister back in 1998 had the engine seize up. 
After the mechanic asked some questions it turned out there hadn't been an oil change in five years. You have to change the oil. How they load the dishwasher. This alone would weed out the psychopaths. I'm one of those people that hyper-optimizes the dishwasher, ensuring maximum space efficiency. I assume that I am the psychopath in this equation. Their bookshelf. Edit, I didn't realize I'd start a discussion so I'll add to my answer. Bookshelf can mean anything from actual bookshelf to reader to even just a list of books they've read. I love to read and can't imagine being with someone who has no interest in learning. It's not so much what someone reads so long as they show an interest in learning, expanding their minds, and enjoying a good story. Seeing their bookshelf can tell you a lot about what interests they have and the interests you share. You don't have to like the same books at all in fact I love the idea of sharing my favorite books with someone who's never read them, but will hopefully enjoy them, and vice versa. Hello you. Is there a particular book or books that would make them an immediate yes? HMM. Not any that jump out specifically. If they shared the same favorite authors as me or were interested in the same subjects it would mean we had things in common and could talk about those things. Certain books might be an immediate no though, books that show we have very different views about certain things, for example. 52 copies of Mein Kampf.